All right, everybody, this is Mr. Oman. Uh, I'm working on Inventure today. I'm going to do problems number 1 through 19 with you. Okay, so in your Google Drive folder, you'll find your document, so open that up. You will need to download it because these drawings are sideways to you, so download it. Okay, and you'll see this window pops up. Yep, go ahead and save that. Here it comes. It saves down to your downloads folder right here. Hit open it from here, and this will allow you to right click on this file, this PDF, and rotate counterclockwise. So right click and then I rotate counterclockwise. Now the picture looks correct to us. Right there. Okay, over in Inventor, open that up. We're gonna do a new part. Right there. And we're gonna start working these through. So problem number one, here we go. Alright, I see a step that's three inches by two inches deep and one inch tall over here. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch. I'm going to use the XY plane as my choice. I'm going to draw this shape right here. Okay, Three inches long. It is 0.75 tall. It's one inch over. It's 0.25 up over to the starting line, so two inches over, and then you can close it right there. Finish sketch, extrude, and we're going to be extruding this a total of two inches. So type the number two, enter. Okay, problem number one is done. Problem number two. Okay, another standard part file. Here's problem two. I'm gonna do this as a base and a top piece. So two sketches, two extrusions. Okay, I'm going to do the lower part first on the XZ plane. I'm going to use the rectangle tool to draw a 2 by 3 2 by 3 rectangle. So 2, tab, 3, enter is what I just typed. Sorry about that. A little problem came up. One more time. Rectangle. Two, tab, three. Enter. There it is. Finish. Extrude. Extrude it one inch up. Okay, now the upper part. We're going to draw another sketch for this. We're going to put it on the top. Rectangle out in the middle. Again, this is a guess right here. And notice I'm not even close to being correct or spaced out right. You can fix that using the dimension tool. So I hit dimension. I'm going to click here, double click there, and another click. So that was about four clicks to get that in place. It says at the point 0.75, we'll get that line moved over. Sometimes you have trouble getting that dimension command to click just right for you. Okay, 0.75. And I'm going to extrude that. Right there, I have to select that face. Extruding at 0.5, enter. Okay, problem number two is finished. Okay, on to problem number three. Okay, we've got kind of a S curve type object here. We're going to extrude this drawing. So, in other words, I'm going to draw this face and I'm going to extrude at 1.5. That's what's going to happen here. So, a line command. Uh, I'm going to recommend you start in this top left corner and work your way around clockwise around these drawings. That seems to go best for students. Two. Point five down. One point five over. 
2.5 down, 2.63 over, going up, 0.88. Mm, let's see, where'd we go wrong here? Whoops, that's not 0.88 up, that's 0.38 up. Okay, so I'll finish, fix that one. finished right there. Going on to number four. Number four. I see an L shape here. We're going to draw this first. We're not going to worry about this block being cut out. We'll come back to that later. So draw the L first and extrude it and come back and make a second sketch for that cutout. over and down and across finish sketch extrude and two and finally we'll do a 2d sketch on top of this face and I'll draw a rectangle for us from the corner and I'm looking at 0.75 by 1.25 would be our measurements so the first one that's highlighted is the vertical dimension so that's the 1.25 tab, 0.75, enter. There it is, drawn correctly. Finish sketch, extrude. I'm going to switch from extrude join option to the cut option. And it cuts it right out. Okay, problem number three. I'm sorry, problem number four is finished. Problem number five. kind of a goofy looking object. Some cuts to do. I think I'm going to draw this right side view so I can get into these legs right here and I can draw the whole block. I'll draw that first. I won't worry about these holes or this groove. Just ignore this stuff. We'll come back and add that stuff later as, as a sketch two and a sketch three. So here comes sketch one. Starting in the bottom left corner of the right view see that this thing is a total of five inches tall. So I'm going up five. Try that again. Five up. Now these directions right here, 0.38 three times. I mean this leg is 0.38, the space is 0.38, this leg is 0.38. Okay, so I use that information to help you. I'm going to go down into the leg 1.5 over 0.38 and over 0.38 again, all the way down 5 and across. Okay, so that should be finished. Extrude, extruding this thing. 1.5 deep. I'm going to sketch right here. Rectangle. Rectangle is 1.75 tall and all the way across. I do need to dimension how far away from the end it is. Looks like it's 0.63. Sketch two, 
I extruded that and cut it out. Now I'm drawing right on that third face, the third sketch, in dimensioning this thing. It's a little tricky in here to get the right click, so that was a single click. Sometimes you do a single click and a double click. So single click, double click, there it is. All right, that seems to work. It says 0 0.63. Nope, it does not, it says 0 0.25. There we go, let's do the same thing over here. You can see that I struggle to get this dimension tool to cooperate with me sometimes too. Okay, on top. Point two five. all the way around, finish sketch, extrude, cut, select, and I need to go for extents, I need to pick all, so it goes all the way through. Okay, and problem number five is done. Okay, and problem number six, this is a new one. Okay, we don't need to draw the whole thing, we only need to draw half of this, it says draw a half section, of this object and then revolve it to make it 3D. So I'm going to draw the upper half. I'm going to use the revolve tool to swing it around and make it 3D. So I think I'll pick XY to draw in. I'm going to start right here in the center, the center of this hole. I'm going to draw up and around and close this upper half off. 3.25 0.5 over, 0.5 deep, 1.5 across, 0.5 tall, I'm sorry, 0.5 tall, 0.5 over, back down to my x axis, and I close it. Okay, so there's our two dimensional shape. Not extrude, but we're going to revolve this time. So here comes your options for this. Okay, it already picks the boundary for me, so it knows I'm thinking about this. I just need to tell it the axis, kind of like the axle of your car, the wheel spins around it. I want to spin this shape around this line. Right there, there's a preview. If that looks good to you, hit OK. Okay, and it looks good to me. And finally, to draw this hole in place, right here, it has a, radi or a diameter of 1.13. I'll sketch that on here. The circle. 0.13, finish, extrude, cut, and all. And that one is done. Problem number seven. Problem seven, we're going to treat this as two parts. We're going to do it as a base, the bottom piece, and then the upper right here. Okay, so I think I'll draw on the table, X, Z first. Rectangle. We've got a rectangle that's 1.5 tall, tab 3, enter. There we go. Finish that sketch. Extrude. And we're going to be 0.38 tall. We're going to use the fillet command. Looks like this rounded over 3D box. We're going to use that with a radius of 0.125 to round these corners. Okay, that's already set by default. So I'll click all four corners and I'll hit the green check mark or enter. So the lower part's done. Now the upper part, the catch here is that there's nothing out here for you to draw on. We want to draw this V shape. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to show you how to make a work plane. So go to the plane command, go to the pull down menu, do an offset from plane. And we're going to take this side surface and we're going to offset it over, looks like 0.25 inches. So we can draw over there. Now the arrow is pointing out here, it wants to go outwards. So to switch that direction, I'm going to type a negative 0.25. 
So it switches directions, enter. Now I have a surface in here that I can draw on. Okay, so 2D sketch. I need to pick that work plane. And now I'm actually drawing in 0.25 in from the end. And we're going to draw this thing. I find it's easiest to start by drawing a rectangle first rather than trying to draw lines. We've had issues come up with that. So I'll just draw a rectangle. Two inches long, 1.25 tall. Okay, I'm going to dimension that and make sure it's spaced out correctly from the end. Should be a 0.5. And over here, this should be a 0.5 as well. Okay. I'm going to delete this upper line. Oops. And I'm going to use the line tool to draw 45 degrees, 1.2. Point 0.3 over, and then I'll finish the box. Finish the sketch, extrude, change the direction, direction 2. Looks like we're extruding this thing. Doesn't exactly say, so the whole thing's 1.5, subtract 0.25, subtract 0.25. I would say we need a 1 inch extrusion to happen. That appears to be right. And problem 7 is done. On to problem 8. Problem 8. Okay, this one might even seem easier than the last one. Okay, we're just going to draw the shape. we got a few arcs to do, and we extrude it, and we're done. So I'll draw the front view on the XY. Okay, I'm going to draw a rectangle to get started. 3, tab, 2. Okay, let's draw an arc. End point, end point, radius is 1.5. Okay, from the center here, I'm going to draw a center point arc. So I select the center first. I pick my radius, which is 1. And now i got to tell it from where to where. That didn't quite go as planned. Let me try that again. Center, start point. radius. There it is. Okay, I'm going to use my scissors to trim off this extra stuff. Okay. If you want, you can use the offset command to move this line over. Okay, it looks like it's a 0.5 space. And delete the arc there. We can offset this thing if we want, which is one inch. We can offset this one, 0.5. We can do some trimming. Finish sketch, extrude, and we are extruding 0.75. Alright, that was problem 8. On to 9. Problem number 9, I think uh, I'll draw the end right here and extrude that through. I'll come back and sketch a circle, cut out that arc. Uh, there's so two sketches is what I see coming. So I'll do the X, Z. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to draw the bottom line. Now I'm going up the back side. 
of the right side view. Going up 1.75. We're going over uh, 1. We're going down 1.25. extrusion and finally we'll sketch on this face I think I'll just draw a circle it could do an arc but I'm gonna go find the center point and draw a now this is diameter that this is reading in so I have to convert the radius of 0.75 to be 1.5 diameter okay, finish that sketch and I can extrude cut and I'm done right there there's problem nine. Problem number ten. I see one sketch being necessary on this one. Sketch this and extrude it 1.75. All right, I'm going to start right here at the end of the arc, and I'm going to work my way around counterclockwise. 0.5 down, going to the left, 0.75, down, 0.5, over, 3, up, 0.5, over, 0.75, back up. And I'll do a three point arc from one end point to the other. Radius 0.75. And this is another 0.75, but it's a diameter. Finish sketch, extrude, and we are extruding 1.75. is done. Okay, number 11. This is the first of a, of a four or five part series here where we're going to be assembling your parts together at the end. So part 11, this one, this base, collar, the uh, post in the middle, and this, this um, C-clamp right there. They all get linked together as an assembly at number 15. So numbers 11 through 15 are all going to come back together here in a moment as an assembly. So standard part this time, new sketch, okay, we're looking at the top view here with the most detail, so I think I'll draw that, and I'll draw it in the XZ plane. So I'm going to do this in three different sketches. First of all, the 3x3 three three rectangle, extruded, 0 0.63. We're then going to sketch. I'm only going to sketch the center hole because it's different from the other four right there. So we'll do this one on its own sketch and then do the other four as a, as a third sketch. So pick there. Now to find, help have Inventor help you find the center, kind of go over to the edge, find the midpoint. If you wander out here, it'll start to guide you. Okay, I need another guideline to come out here from, from this side. And once it's recognizing you're looking at those, it brings those out for you. And it makes it a lot easier to draw in the right location the first time. So there is a simple sketch of one circle, 0.25, right in the center. Let's extrude this all the way through. Okay, sketch two is done. Finally, sketch three will also be on that same face. We're going to use the point tool this time to make the holes, though. Okay, what we'll do here is we'll place these in alignment with each other. Like that. We will dimension them. That dimension should be 0 0.63. That 
should be 0.63 also from the top. Now something uh, that's probably new to you at this point, something called these constraints. If we use the horizontal constraint, you can get this point to line up with that point. But that doesn't quite work out right. So I'm going to undo that. I want to use the vertical one. Okay, and these should be lined up with each other as well. And this one, horizontal constraint. Okay, and I'll dimension that to make sure it's 0.63 away. go. So those are constrained. Alright, those are just points. Now we're actually going to use the real hole tool this time. There it is in 3D. Inventor knows to look for points when you're using the hole tool. If you bring your settings box out here, you can switch to the countersunk style. Right there. If I go back to our directions, we'll find that 0.38 is our hole size, so I need to change that right here. So the holes are a little larger. Okay, the problem is our countersink isn't isn't big enough. Let's make our countersink up here 0.5. Right there. So there's two measurements you got to put in the countersink and then the hole size. All right, and it looks like problem 11 is done. So I'm going to save this one because I need to use it for the assembly later. Okay, we're going to call that 11. Okay, on to the next. So here comes another part, part 12. Okay, a simple rectangle. Oops, rectangle, there it is. Two by two, two tab two, enter, and a circle in the middle. So I'll get my midpoint guidelines to help me to find the center. And diameter one, finish and extrude. And that's an extrusion of 0.5. Okay, we're going to do a save. And we'll call this 12. Alright, next. Problem 13. Okay, we're going to draw another half section. So we're only going to draw half of this picture, kind of the outline of it. And we're going to revolve that around too, like it says. So a half section and a revolve. So only draw half of this drawing. I'm going to draw on the XY plane because this one's upright. Oh, let's draw right here in the center. Let's draw up. If I were to add all of these up, you got one inch, one and a half inches, one and five eighths, uh, two and a quarter total, 2.25. We're going to go in 0.13. Go down 0.13. And back over. And across. Okay, notice there's nothing on the inside, it's just this outside shape. You can then revolve it and use the middle line, the vertical line, as the axis. Okay, problem number 13 is finished. Problem 14. 
Okay, it's kind of the C-shaped collar. And draw that on the XZ plane. I'll draw this picture right here. You could draw circles or you could draw arcs. Um, there's more than a way to do it. I'm going to use the center point arc to do it. I'm going to start in the center. Okay, I'm going to go 0.5 tab. I'm going to draw 90 degrees around. I'm going to draw another one. 0.38 tab. I'll start with that line, draw it around 270 degrees, and I'll then close it off right there. Extrude 0.13. And number 14 is done. We will save that. Alright, I'm going to start closing all these files that I have, because I have a lot of them open. Because I want to have enough memory for the assembly to happen. We do not need these open anymore. Problem number 15, we will place problems 11 through 14 <coughs> into uh, an assembly file. So I've opened up an assembly file already. Okay, I used the place button and now I'm searching for part number 11. There it is, I'm going to place that in with a click. I have to right click and hit OK to finish that one. Back to place. <coughs> I'm going to look for number 12. You need two copies of that, so there's two clicks. Right click OK. Place. Number 13. Just one of them. Right click OK. Place. Number 14. Alright, so now for number 15 you're going to see over here that we need to get these all constrained together. Okay, On your assembly file you'll see I have a new ribbon of buttons up here. Okay, We're going to use the constraint tool. Click on that and you get this this option window. It shows up. There's many different ways of constraining this. I'll be constraining this post with the mate, mate option <coughs> So I pick the center line, and I'm going to pick the center line of this hole because that's where it fits. Right there, and I hit apply. Okay, it's only lined up on that on that center axis. So I need to do one more. I need to mate this face to this face right here. And it should work out. There it is. And they are now locked together. Okay, the next one. I'm going to insert this center. And I'll mate this face to that face right there underneath. Oops, it doesn't like that one, I guess. I guess they are locked up already. And finally, one last one constrain. Insert right there. Okay, if, if it doesn't quite go the way you want, you can check. Okay, so this one isn't quite where I want it, so I'm going to go over I'm going to find its history right here. That insert didn't go the way I wanted it to, so I'm going to right click and delete that. So if you have that problem where it's not quite where you want it, you can delete constraints out. I'm going to try it again. Okay, this time let's try a different way. Let's try mate. And I'm looking at the center line. I'm looking at the bottom center line with the bottom circle right there. Right here. And 
apply that seemed to go a lot better for me. And one more thing, you can flush two faces together to get them locked up. Okay, the final one I need to do would be the collar. I need this center. Just finding the center sometimes can be hard. Oh, I guess I have to turn on insert first. There it is. Now I got it. And I'll find the center over here. I'll apply that. Alright, number 15 is now finished. And on to problem 16. This is a part file. All right, this is meant to be just a box with, with holes in it in all three dimensions. Okay, I'll start by drawing the front view. It doesn't really matter which view, I guess I draw first. Okay, the rectangle is 3 by 1.75. 3 tab 1.75. Okay. Inside here, I'm going to draw another rectangle. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to use the offset command. And the offset command is just used to push a line over and make a copy. So I'm going to copy this over. 0.38. And that's done. Finish that sketch. Extrude it. And we're going to extrude 1.75. And I'll sketch on top. Hey, hey, hey. Hear something? So I'll use the offset tool up here on the top. Extrude, cut that through. All. And we have one to go. We'll sketch on the end. Offset. I'm sorry, we'll do a rectangle around the outer edge and then we'll offset that. extrude cut the rest. Okay, and there number 16 is done. Seventeen. Okay, we'll do a top view sketch right here of this object. Do 2.9 inches up. circle, 0.5 diameter, and I'll finish the sketch. Extrude it. I'm only going to do the lower part here. Okay, it looks like this thing is 0.5 inches tall. Do another sketch on top for the upper rectangles. And they're 
0.75 spaced out. There's the sketch, we'll extrude that up and we'll be done. And they're going up 0.5. Okay. And number 17 is done. On to number 18. Number 18, I'll be drawing the base first, and then I'll draw the upper part second. So the base looks like it's three and a half inches by one and a half. So I will draw that on the XZ plane. 3.5, tab 1.5. I'll extrude that up a half inch. see two more sketches coming. One here on the end, so we can cut out this groove. It's angled all the way through. These dashed lines suggest it's all the way. Okay, and then I'll come back. We'll make a work plane set in. Looks like we're going to set that in. Uh, let's see. One and a half minus 0.75 is 0.75 divided by two. 0.38 on either side. So we'll set this back 0.38 with the work plane. All right, so I'll do that one first. Offset from plane. And go negative 0.38 to get it to go inward. Okay, I'll start a sketch on that plane. Okay, I'm going to start off by making a, a line, or I'm sorry, a rectangle on the black line right there. That rectangle needs to be an inch and a half tall. By uh, two and a quarter, two and two point two five. So I will dimension that. Five. I'll dimension that from the end. Looks like 0 0.625, 0 0.63, same thing. Okay, and the height should be 1.5. Okay, so there's our rectangle. Okay, we'll start cutting away at this thing. From this corner, I'll go in a half inch. I'll come back down. I'll do the same thing over here. 0.5, come back down. Do some trimming. Okay, if things won't trim for you, you'll have to select them and hit the escape button instead. Or, I'm sorry, the delete button instead. They have to cross something in order for that to work. Okay, so now we have our angles taken care of without actually typing any angles. On 0.63 in, one down, 0.5 over. And uh oh, I'm going to find out real quick here that something's not quite right with this. You can tell my spacing is not, not done well. So we have to go back and calculate. It looks like I forgot to add in the 0.5 that was over here, so it's actually 2.75 total right here. 3.5 minus 2.75 is 0.75 or 3 fourths. Divide that in half, you get 3 eighths. As a decimal, that's 0.38. So let me uh, redimension these two spots. No. So this whole thing needs to get moved over. Uh, there's the move button. 
select. All right, I got the drawing fixed up and things are in the right place here. Okay, I'm going to then go on and extrude it. And we're going to extrude. Uh, let's see, we need to go the other direction, so we'll switch that. And 0.75, which I already have set, so 0.75 deep. And it looks like problem number 18 is done. Okay, and our next and last drawing. Number 19. Uh, you could draw this a number of ways. Uh, I believe I will draw just the lower part down here. I'll forget about the triangle for now. I'll just draw this part down below. Alright, it appears like it's two inches wide. And the height over here is given it's one inch up to that platform. We'll come back and add the triangle second. Okay, so I will use the line tool. I'm starting right in the lower left hand corner. Okay, again we're going up one inch. Okay, we'll go to the right, two inches. Okay, we'll head straight down another inch, point three eight over. We'll do a, a three point arc. The diameter is 0.63. Okay, we'll finish that sketch. We'll extrude it. And we're going to extrude that three inches. Because I picked the wrong plane to draw it on, but that's alright. Okay, and the final sketch is a triangle on top. Okay, we don't have to measure much here. We just start in the corners. We'll find the midpoint. Over to the corner, and I'll close that triangle shape off. Finish it. I'll extrude. And we are going to extrude it, looks like 0.5. Okay, and there we are. Number 19 is done.